this is Kalyan again from black box tech today we will discuss about one of the biggest problem uh, when you developed with angular so if you are coming from a large enterprise you know there are lots of developer works together and they all work with different different applications and the main problem is like the folder structure we maintain or create uh, which don't have much uh, sharing the code between them and that's why google facebook and all other using a different approach altogether called monorepo and that monorepo structure angular cli not completely provides you out of the box and th today's our discussion is on that same line how we can create a workspace which will be similar to google facebook and all large companies how they are using those angular workspace as an enterprise solutions will uh, check out shortly so without any further delay let's get started to create our workspace we'll be using one of the approach and we'll use inx workspace which uh, which actually are developed by narvel corporation and this is a wide, uh, widely used solution to create an enterprise grade angular workspace so let's jump into that first of all uh, you need to install um, their uh, workspace globally and um, so for in my case actually i have already installed that uh, so let's create an workspace using nx so to create one i'm just uh, going to desktop and then i'm using npx create nx workspace and then I need to give a workspace name. For an example, I'm giving a blog black box workspace name. Once I create that, it will generate all the required workspace for you. So you can see it will ask for a few of the questions here. It will it is asking me like what kind of uh, style sheet format I want. So let's choose a CSS. Um, I'm not using any scope so. With default and I will generate an empty workspace for now that's it so let me open that in our visual studio code So if you see uh, how it's generated, it's a blank application. Uh, uh, so there is a two main folders you can see. One is apps and one is libs. And you can see another folder called tools. So inside tools, the schematics, a blank folder has been generated. So schematics, you already know, like if you've seen my last videos about schematics. So this schematics you can add uh so that other can install your libraries in a very easy approach or you can actually create a schematic so that uh anyone can generate uh a code so it's a kind of generator like you mean you have been used uh, to generate your code and also this apps so apps is like uh, in your uh, uh enterprise if lots of developer working on different different application so within apps all your application will be stored and this leaves like it will be a shared library across your team members like you have created a library which can be used in other application uh, in an easily way so <clears throat> let's generate our first application here so the command is similar to angular cli so let's use that so ng generate app and i'll be creating a uh, application called first app so first of all it will have already three option angular react and web components if you are coming from react it, you can also use this uh, it's uh, kind of like you will it will generate a react component for you so for now let's uh, select the angular one it will ask in which directory should the application be generated 
so <clears throat> uh, for an example if among your enterprise you are a particular team and this application is you are generating for your own team for an example your team name team uh, name is something called spider-man <laughs> so so all the application which belongs to spider-man will be inside the spider-man folder so i can quickly write spider-man so your application within apps folder there will be another folder will be created called spider-man and inside that your application will be generated so it will give you two option to uh, generate uh, run your unit test so one is just which is very easy you can use that and it's been used by facebook and uh, it's pretty much uh, straightforward you can use it easily and you have also an option to choose the karma the default so let me choose the just for you and also it comes with a very powerful end-to-end -end test runner called cypress you can also uh, take a look it's also a wonderful uh, framework for your test case of end-to-end uh, -end test so uh, let me choose the it and uh, no tags so it will generate the first application so you can see a spider-man application has been generated uh, your first application and it's within the spider-man group and uh, the same way you can generate your library like um, uh, which will be like shared across you can keep open the library like within lips folder your library can be just directly into the folder or you can also uh, scope them within a folder so that's upon you file is generated so in angular.json file you can see a uh, the within the project the, our application spider-man first app so within spider-man it's defined like within spider-man folder your application name and then the e2e and uh, the other so if you uh, create another library it will actually uh, also define into the angular CLI JSON automatically by the by this schematics so now let's run your uh, application in serve mode so I will just run ng serve spider-man and then first step the same way you can actually build also your application ng build spider-man first step so it will build your application and within this folder it will uh, keep the same directory structure for you so now if you open this url So you can see it's actually working as expected and it will also watch for you so if you do any changes the same way angular cli do because it's on top of angular cli it's been created based on angular cli itself and another way to add this nx uh, on top of that if you install a project with the angular cli and uh, they also provide a uh, schematics uh, which uh, you can use like ng add schematics uh, in our WL then you can actually automatically install this schematic as well so I will put a link of that uh, guideline you can go ahead and check like uh, their documentation so next uh, what I'll do uh, uh, so not only to maintain this uh, application structure uh, uh, in a very good manner like uh, it's also provide the basic configurations like it comes with prettier uh, just and all those latest uh, uh, technologies for you um, but uh, it also comes with a very good uh, backend so if you want to create a full stack development here it comes with nest.js and you know nest.js is pretty similar like uh, angular so if you know angular then it will be easier for you to understand the nest.js which uh, almost uh, like uh, similar to angular development the code is mainly looks like same as an angular 
and you can very easily create apis and a backend application from that and uh, uh, so this nx also do a seamless integration between your front end and back end you can run both the application together using ng serve so that's a very plus to me like it looks like a positive solution here so let's uh, create a backend application here to create a backend application you can use ng g and with this node app and give it a uh, name so let me give it a backend also you need to tell uh, you are generating this application for which uh, front-end application so our application is uh, uh, first app right so just run ngg node app backend and list front-end projects equal to first app because it will use this file uh, name to create a proxy between them and uh, both can actually so your front-end application can fetch the data from this backend so let it be the default using next.js so you can see a backend application here let it complete the installation so once that is generated so it's basically uh, same as the way you run your angular application you can run the backend in the same way or with same commands so for an example you can run ng serve and then backend so it will run in watch mode for you so whatever changes you do in your backend application it will be uh, re reflect instantly so you can see it's uh, started running on this port localhost 333 if we open that so uh, this is the main root of our application so if you go to the application backend within source within app you can see app module.ts app controller and then app service so within app controller you can see it's actually if you get the data it will actually return the service so if you open the service so it should uh, give you welcome to backend so inside app module in the main.ts if you see like it should run 333 and they have uh, defined this global prefix of api that means to get the data if you create click on api it should return the message here so uh, with your uh, client side application which is running on port 200 you can simply use http client to get the data back from your backend and both application can run together if you use ng serve so ng serve backend you can also use ng serve first app so both will run together and share the data between them also if you create any interface or models for your application that same model can be used by both of the application the client and front end thus way you can actually share the same data across your front end and back end so that is pretty much a plus for your application for a large application it's very necessary to share the data between all your application as much as possible and as you can see like it's the nest is the similar kind of uh, structure so here we are using nest factory the core uh, is the same concept app uh, we have an app module and we are importing into the main and the main is actually bootstrapping the server and it deciding like where, which port uh, it will run your application and all those things and then within their service the it's a 
ah, it's actually the creating a gate and it's returning the subject so uh, the idea is like uh, it will be connected with some kind of mongodb or any other kind of database which will return the data here you can come up with your data models and that models uh, will be added to your gate data and it can return the data for you uh, to your front-end application and then front-end application you will be using http client uh, to use uh, the gate page the data from this uh, backend so it is pretty much forward and it can actually work in the same way you can build ng build and also you can do ng test uh, then backend so you'll be able to test that as well so the next thing is if you go through the package.json you will be you can see like there are very um, uh, it's already have lots of scripts and a very helpful script as, um, at least like so if you can check like if you update it will automatically update your uh, in our WL schematics um, if you update check it will check run the uh, update as well so it will check for updates uh, if you run npm run format it will use prettier and it will format your all the code and then uh, there are some useful things you know, like um, affected apps affected leaps build so it's actually um, say for an example there are lots of applications which is been developed by different different developer in your enterprise and uh, some code is used by other application as well so you can run this dependency graph to see for your change particular change which all other application has been affected based on that you will only build that particular uh, affected codes and libraries so that that's the particular things it's do and also there is some dependency graph you can run uh, to check uh, like the uh, like what all things uh, is uh, affected so this deep graph you can run like you can see your current dependency so npm run and then deep graph so it will show you like the current dependency of the code so you can see the back end and these two are dependent on each other because the first step and step. right now we are not using backend in our first application but if you are using this then automatically it will also dependent on this application the same way that it will when you generate other application it will also show the dependency between them so now if your application or if you have a library here and that library has been used to other applications so that if you do any changes in your library so that code also need to build so it will show the dependency dependency graph for that as well so so that's it like you can see like if you use this library you'll be pretty much uh, making sure that lots of things is handled already out of the box here and uh, like yeah so the code will be pretty easy to maintain for you for your large uh, enterprise development uh, uh, today that's it for today i hope uh, you like the uh, things i will come up with some uh, uh, tutorial for that nest.js so you will understand how to use nest.js with your uh, angular and also nest.js support angular universal i will try to come up with another tutorial uh, which will show you like how you can actually use that to create your angular universal application and that's it for today thanks for watching